All right, class, happy Thursday. The healing in the synagogue of Capernaum, Mark 1, 21 through 28, 8b. Now remember, Capernaum is in the north in Galilee. It's near Nazareth. Remember, Jesus got rejected in Nazareth, and so he's made Capernaum his hometown. Now he's going to be teaching in the synagogue there, and he heals a man that's possessed by an evil spirit. And that's him here. And all the people are kind of holding him up. This is Jesus casting the evil spirit out of him. I like how this guy looks really super surprised in the picture. Obviously, that would be pretty surprising if you were to witness this. Jesus had been rejected in Nazareth, the city where he had grown up. Grown up. So he went to Capernaum, a city on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. A lot of our lessons are going to be on the Sea of Galilee now. Some of Jesus' disciples lived there, and he decided to make it his home city. After his journeys, Jesus would return there for rest, and from there he would set out again on his travels. On the next Sabbath day, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. People were amazed at what Jesus taught. They were used to hearing the teachers of the law who had added many of their own rules to the laws that God had given to Moses. The teachers of the law endlessly taught the people that they must, what they must and must not do. Now, it's good to know what we should and shouldn't do, but they taught that it's a way to earn heaven. Jesus, however, taught the wonderful message of salvation, and that he, and he did it with authority, meaning we are saved by Jesus, by grace alone. While Jesus was teaching a man who was controlled by an evil, who was, con, ugh, excuse me, while Jesus was teaching, a man who was controlled by an evil spirit suddenly cried out, What do you want with us? There's more evil spirits in there. Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Now picture this, this is the demon from the devil, and he's actually praising God. He's saying, Jesus of Nazareth, you're the Holy One of God. That's a, that's a, a praise. It was an evil spirit who had said these words, speaking through the man in control. And even though these words seemed to praise him, Jesus did not want an evil spirit telling him that he was the Son of God. He wanted the people to recognize him as their Savior by hearing his words and seeing his wonderful works. So Jesus ordered the spirit, keep quiet and come out of him. Isn't that kind of crazy? We're going to have Jesus talking to all sorts of things. In a future lesson, we're going to have him talking to the wind and the waves. Here he's talking to an evil spirit, and the evil spirit must listen to him, just like Satan did in the wilderness. The evil spirit made the man shake violently, and then the spirit gave one last shriek before it came out of him because it was kind of being stubborn. I don't know if you guys ever get in trouble at your house or whatever, and mom tells you to go to your room, and you stomp your feet, and you slam your door, but you went to your room. Okay, That's what the evil spirit is kind of doing here. He's sinning. He's kind of really super mad, so he's shaking the man, and then he gets the last shriek like, I'm not going to do it, but you said I have to, so I'm going to. And he came out of the man. All the people were amazed. They asked each other, what is this? This is a new teaching with authority. Jesus gives orders to evil spirits, and they obey him. The news about Jesus spread quickly throughout the whole region. We're going to hear these key words over and over and over. It spread, spread, spread. No Facebook, no emails, no news television. How did they spread? Well, they were word, mouth to mouth, word to word. In other words, I would come home from school today, and I would tell my family. And in return, they would see somebody at the marketplace, and they'd tell others. And they'd go home and tell their family. And people were just constantly talking about just You wouldn't believe what I saw in church today. Jesus cast out an evil spirit. Well, obviously, one of the key points that we want to take away from this lesson is God has the power over the devil. The devil can't withstand Jesus. When Jesus tells him what to do, they have got to listen to him. Second thing is, let's spread God's word. Go out and tell others. Tell them about this very lesson. Read it in the words as it comes from the, the Gospel of Mark and then tell others. All right, let's close with prayer. It's on the back side. Dear Holy Spirit, we became distracted so easily during worship services at church. Help us to prepare for worship, participate in it joyfully, and remember the blessings afterwards. Lead us to be regular, enthusiastic worshipers. That means go to church often. Throughout our whole lives, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's take a look at our assignment. The directions say, complete the sentences with the words from the box. So, the words from the box are down here. Now, you got way too many here. You're not going to use all of those. Okay? And they kind of made it easy on you on a few of them. 
They said, for example, number three, on the blank blank. Well, you got a evil spirit, you got a Sabbath day, you got a holy one. So some of those you're going to have pretty obvious where it's going to go. Okay? All right, well, let's try that one. On the blank blank, Jesus went to teach in the blank. All right. I remember what it said. I'm pretty sure it said Sabbath and synagogue. I'm going to take, take sure, <clears throat> make sure. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue. So that's number three. On the Sabbath day. Now, guys, it's on your sheet, so make sure that you're spelling it correctly. It's right there. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the and synagogue. I'm going to jump down to another one too. A man controlled by a blank blank interrupted Jesus. My choice is evil spirit or holy one. Okay, obviously it's the evil spirit. The people were blank when Jesus cast the evil spirit out of them. Amazed. Now this might be the toughest one, number eight. I'm going to let you guys come up with it on your own. Jesus wanted the people to believe in him as their savior by blank his blank and blank his blank by hearing his what and seeing his what. So I gave you half of it. Hearing and seeing what. Okay? All right. Down at the bottom, you got extra credit here if you would like to do the bottom. It says, the amazing and wonderful, how amazing and wonderful it is for the people of Capernaum to hear Jesus speak his words. Find out how you also can learn amazing and wonderful things. Color all the letters except for X, Y, Z. Okay, not an X. X. Not an X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. A is not... Well, I think I got the first word. I think it's going to be here. X. Sure. H E A R. I like to write it down here so it's easier to see. Here. I got a good idea what it's going to be. You guys go ahead and do that. That's for extra credit. Don't have to, but give it a shot. Have a blessed day.